Good evening, everyone. It's an honor to be here with my colleagues who worked so hard to make uh, this legislation possible. I'll begin with our appropriators, the chair of the Appropriations Committee, Nina Lowy, the, ranking, the chair of the Subcommittee on Homeland Security, Lucille Roybal Allard. Uh, we are all pleased to join our distinguished uh, Democratic leader, majority leader uh, of the House, Mr. Hoyer. Uh, the Deputy speak, the Assistant speak, uh, Speaker, Mr. Fenray Lujan uh, from California, Harley Ruda from Maryland, Jamie Raskin. Who presided over the passage of the bill. He did. He handled all of that uh, back and forth of about 60 seconds with great aplomb. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, from Colorado, our colleague, Earl Palmutter. Uh, we're grateful for the work of so many people to make this possible. I'm grateful for the unity in our caucus. We always say our diversity is our strength. All the beautiful ideas that come forth, our unity is our power. And I'm pleased to sign this legislation, which we will send to the Senate to be signed, and they'll go to the President of the United States to be signed to open up government. I'll sit down. <laughs> <laughs> have to use some twice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. It's kind of a solemn occasion for us because so many people have suffered so long and now uh, happily as soon as possible, or as the president said, immediately or as soon as possible, they'll be getting their paychecks. And the American people will get in their services and our economy can be back on track. Madam Thank you. Are you concerned about the narrow nature of the time frame for the conference committee, only three weeks, that that might be a, an effort to try to limit the scope that they don't address DACA, they don't address immigration, they only address the border issues? What do you think of that, Mr. Uh, first of all, uh, whatever the time frame, let's hope we've learned the lesson that shutting down government is uh, not an acceptable alternative, period. Whatever the time frame, whatever the reasons, shutting down the government of the United States is not an alternative. Uh, we hope to be working very, uh, uh, very diligently. Uh, the chair of our conference uh, will be Ms. Rumble Allard, and, and Ms. Lowy will uh, be, the, I guess, the chair of the uh, conference. Uh, and uh, I'm sure both of them will work very, very hard to get us to a place where we solve the problems that are in the Department of Homeland Security uh, budget. That is, after all, will be the subject of the conference. And we have no complaint. We asked the President to open up government so we would have time to have a debate on the best way to protect our border. Democrats are committed uh, to border security, and we think we have some better ideas about how to do so that uh, protect our border, honor our values, and are cost effective. And we look forward to Congresswoman Mobile Allard taking the lead in terms of the substance from this, her standpoint as uh, chair of the Homeland Security uh, Committee and commend again Congress, our chair of the Appropriations Committee for her leadership on all of this as well. They bring knowledge, they bring perspective, uh, br they bring the uh, enthusiasm and consensus of our caucus uh, to that conference. Thank you all very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.